Hey, welcome back. Uh, another episode of It's Always Something. Uh, today, I'm going to try to bring this old hitch back to life. Um, pretty old. I don't know the history of it. It's pretty rusty. I just started to wire brush it, decided to make this video. Uh, it's going to be a three-step process, four-step process, I guess. Uh, first is wire brush all the loose stuff off, which I've already started here. It's almost done. Um, and then I have this stuff here. Uh, Skyco Osfo it is a rust converter. Uh, it converts the uh, iron oxides back into just an iron that you can then prime and paint. Um, I use Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer. Uh, top coat it with Rust-Oleum regular old. You know, get off the shelf at Home Depot. Oil-based enamel. Uh, I might use flat black, I'm not real sure, but anyways, but it'll be the same stuff, just different color. I've used this on a couple different things that I've restored over the years, and it's done a fantastic job. I can't say enough good things about them. No, I'm not paid by Osfo or Skyco or whoever they is or Rust-Oleum. Um, so I'll just be uh, getting started here. Uh, first thing to do, like I said, is going to be finished uh, wire brushing all the rust off. So got to get started on that so far. All right, so that's done. Uh, I, I only have one hand, so I can't... Uh, shoot and wire brush and same time. It looked like it had some oil on here, so I went ahead and, and blasted some brake cleaner uh, before I really got too far with it. Uh, so the oil's off, brake cleaner's evaporating. So as soon as the brake cleaner's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and spray on the Osfo. I got this uh, generic spray bottle. It's my preferred method of Osfo application. Uh, some kind of acid, uh, it eats it, eats the rust, it converts it. I'm not 100% sure on the uh, chemical conversion, but it works. That's all I know. That's all I really care about. Always more scale. Always. All right. So the fourth time through with the wire brush, I think I got all of it now. Um, let's go ahead and spray this on here. You can actually watch this stuff bubble up. should set up for time lapse, but sorry. Don't have time to do that. So sometimes what I like to do is take a water brush and work it in. Tends to get a little extra in there. You see it's actually, I actually have clean metal here in this spot, which I'm not sure if I had it. I started or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit the whole thing and. I got a hot 4D, you can smell the stuff that reeks. Now you just have to stop So it's been about 20 minutes now. It's definitely getting darker. Still the light spot here. Definitely looks lighter in real light or sorry, darker in real life than it does in the video. I'm not sure what the camera's doing to it, but uh, there is a light spot here, 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 here. I might apply just a little bit more, but we'll just give it more time. See what it does. Yeah, right. It's uh, been overnight now. Uh, so uh, you can tell it's very dark compared to where it started. There's still a few lighter spots here again. This spot, I don't, don't know why, but that's all right. That's why I'm going to prime it with the rusty metal primer to take care of everything <coughs> that the Osfo did not. Uh, you see some white streaks, which I've heard is like in, uh, indicative of moisture in the air or getting wet. Um, it's been pretty humid out recently, so that's probably what this is. So a little bit of moisture settled on here. and That's okay. Um, so we'll just go ahead and get to uh, priming it here shortly and then uh, tomorrow painting it. So we'll see how this goes. All right, we're back. Uh, it's been a few hours. I went ahead and cleaned this all off with some brake cleaner. So some of these white marks are still here. Uh, we got this on my patented uh, trailer hitch painting mounting device. Sarcasm implied. Uh, this is the paint again. Rust only your rusty metal primer. Throw away brush because I'm lazy like that. Um, when I, I've already stirred everything up, so. Just get the paint and see what this looks like when it's done. All right, all done with the paint, just let it dry. 
All right, finishing touches. Uh, it's been drying overnight. It's been 20, 24 hours. I can't remember. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and top coat it with my uh, Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. I don't have flat black. I'm going to buy paint for this project. So uh, Gloss Black it is. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, finished product. Um, got the, the ball installed. Uh, you see it's shiny black. Yay, not rusty. Uh, again, this video is just to show, you know, what... You can do how you can restore and stop some of this rust. You just have to take my word on how long it's going to last. So we'll see. I'm not going to uh, you know wait three years to publish this to see if any rust came back or not. This is going to get used and beat up, and um, just want to not look super rusty or suffer any structural issues because of rust. So I say it came out pretty well, and uh, you can use this process on just about anything metal, uh, steel that is. Um, to, uh, to restore or to stop the rust and get a few more years out of it. Thanks for watching.